and I wanted to share with you guys today about using your gifts and talents to share your Young Living products. And I know a lot of you get intimidated when you think about um, sharing or building a business and um, it doesn't have to be that way. I also heard, I think it was Jen Springer who often says, you know, people share the way that they were shared with. So if they feel like the way that they heard about Young Living is a way that they don't feel comfortable sharing, then they probably won't share. So um, one of the ways that I love to share about Young Living is having classes because I'm a teacher and I, you know, did that as a profession before I became a mom and it's something I love. It's, um, it's where my gifting is. It's, it gives me fulfillment to teach and to help others in a, cl in a classroom type setting. So those who come to my classes may think, oh, well, I'm not a teacher. I couldn't do this. I couldn't build a business or I couldn't really share with my friend because I, I'm not a teacher. I don't want to have a class. I don't know how to do a PowerPoint or whatever. Um, so I couldn't share my Young Living business. So I, I want to dispel some of those myths for you today because you can personalize your business or, you know, even just sharing your love of Young Living, you can personalize that to you you and to your gifts. So I want to talk to you uh, a few about a few of those. So think about your gifts. What brings you joy? What brings you fulfillment when you do those things? So I'm going to list a few of those things. And if they, if they're, um, if they'll speak to you, you know, give me some hearts, give me some comments. Um, could it be giving gifts away, giving to other people? And so the way that you share Young Living might be by um, sharing samples with some friends or you know if a friend of yours says oh um you know i have i have this issue that i want to try oils for and you could say hey why don't i stop by and um i'll drop by your house and give you some samples that could be a way that you could share are you a social butterfly maybe you might hand out some um thieves booklets or some other type of booklet to people that you meet in the checkout line. Maybe that's you. Maybe you just, when you see, um, when you're checking out, you, um, you talk to everybody in the, in the line around you. So maybe you could just share, share with people that way. Um, a lot of times, you know, like if I'm in the store and it's on a weekday, I'll see older people shopping during the week and they're always complaining about their aches and pains and say, Hey, I, um, I have, I have something that I use for my aches and pains, you know, do you want to try it? And a lot of people are desperate enough, they'll, they'll want to try anything. So that could be a way that you share. Um, are you hospitable? Is that one of your gifts? Maybe you love having people over to your home. Just think about having some people over and um, talk and just bringing the oils up in, an, in a general conversation. I've had that happen many times too. Uh, do you love to craft? Maybe you're a DIY person. Maybe you want to make up some homemade lotion and share it with people in your office or make up, you know, make up some little gifts or um, sprays or whatever and hand those out. If you have kids and you're, um, you know, the end of the year give some teacher gifts, those type of things. Do DIY stuff. Um, just share, share according to your gifts. Okay, maybe... I know there are some people that are total introverts and I'm kind of like half introverted. So even doing this video is, you know, out of my comfort zone. And so maybe you're introverted and you say, I don't want to leave the house. I don't want to talk to people. I don't want to have people over, but maybe you can use social media and you think, okay, maybe, okay, social media for an introvert, this is kind of weird, but okay, you don't have to leave the house, you don't have to see anybody, you don't have to talk to anybody, you can pretend that there's no one on the other end, you could do a periscope, you could do a YouTube video, you could um, text a friend, text, you know, I think that's the the preferred method of communication for introverts is texting, so um, that's how I do it half the time, and so yeah, just text some friends. And so these are all different ways that you can share Young Living. So it doesn't have to be a class. It doesn't have to be, 
It doesn't have to be something really complicated. It can just be you living the way you normally live and bringing other people in with you. And to, um, so you love your product, you want to share it, just do it in a way that comes naturally to you. And I think you'll find that you'll have more success that way. If you try to do to do your business in a way that's not authentic to you, it's not going to come across as authentic to other people. So think about what 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 makes you tick, what makes you um, get up in the morning, what gives you joy, what gives you fulfillment, and then just do your business that way. And I've been talking about the business a lot, but you don't necessarily have to be in the Young Living business per se to um, to share Young Living. You can just um, you know share share your love of the products with friends, and you get a paycheck for it. It doesn't have to be a full blown business either. So. I hope that's encouraging to you today. I hope it gives you some ideas. Comment, um, give me questions. Let me know what you think of this, and um, you know, s give me some other ideas if your favorite ways to share. I'd love to hear those too. I'm gonna do a whole series on different ways to share Young Living, and I'm gonna walk through some specific, some specific tips and s some specific ideas. So keep, keep um, uh, following me and keep. Uh, paying attention and uh, you should see some upcoming tips for that. So thanks guys!